hailed as a super cop who does not flinch even before the Bollywood royalty to a police officer is marred in controversy and the allegation of corruption. The perception about Samir Wan Kere is going for a roller coaster ride in the recent weeks. Hello and welcome to South Asian Insider Opinion and News Analysis exclusively on Josh India Web TV. I am Shishmita Ghosh here to share information regarding Samir Wan Kere controversy in India's drug wars. Crucial time it is for India while combating against the rising drug conflicts. The outcome of this incident can dictate how the war will go and exactly how the officials will take risks of high profile arrests. When it comes to Samir Wan Kere, he is no stranger to tussle with the big names. The present zonal director of the Narcotics Control Bureau did several stints with the National Investigation Agency as well. He caught the pop singer Mika Singh at the airport with foreign currency. He also led the exposed investigation in Bollywood drug usage after the death of actor Sushant Singh Rajput. He questioned and investigated famous personalities like Riya Chakraborty, Deepika Padukone, Sara Ali Khan and so on. Nevertheless, this is the first time he has faced such hostility from the fans and the political personnel too. Nawab Malik, a senior minister from Maharashtra, led the charge against NCB and Samir Wankhere. He has involved Wankhere over social media claiming irregularities in his 26 old cases. Later, he took the matter far away, asking about Samir's caste, his marriage and even his mother, whom he lost a few years back. The attack on the scale is unmatched as Nawab Malik took this as his personal revenge related to his son-in-law Samir Khan's arrest by the NCB in an alleged drug case in January 2021. In the drug bust case, the officials are caught in the power play of politics. The NCP Chief Chennai Alliance is crying foul in the case. Alternatively, Sri Chief Prathishthan Yuva Hindustan expressed their support with Samir Wan Kheri. The BJP, the ruling party in the center, is staying away from the controversy. The NCB is receiving complete support from the center. Hence, the case is going ahead. The allegation of drug usage against several members of the Bollywood industry is not new. Adding politics to the mix has muddied the whole affair. It became difficult for the officials to battle against the rising drug addiction, especially among the youth. There are two major segments from the strategies taken by the DEA collaborations against the international drug cartels. Apparently, the first one is the supply chain. The final supplier and the end user should be taken into account quite seriously. While positive reinforcements like anti-drug campaigns can boost the movement to a high extent, the negativity of drug abuse can result in holding back the youth from experimenting. Hence, Aryan Khan case is aptly highlighted in the media. A star kid and a youth icon, Aryan Khan affect his followers across the nation. He is considered royalty in Bollywood as his father Shah Rukh Khan is undoubtedly one of the biggest movie stars. This arrest is a clear message to the huge fan base and the whole country that even an influential person is not above the law and order as far as drug abuse is concerned. Around the same time, the huge drug confiscation at Mundra port was on the limelight too, which indicates that there is a steady drug racket at work in India. This incident is still under investigation and yet to get much coverage. Nevertheless, Arin Khan conviction case can result in diminishing demand of narcotic substances which will affect the overall drug route too. Thanks for watching our show. We'll look forward to your comments. If you want to share our news with us, please email. Keep watching Josh India Web TV on YouTube.